In this game, you will encounter a variety of visual effects that may provoke seizures or loss of consciousness in a minority of people. If you or someone in your family has ever displayed symptoms of epilepsy in the presence of flashing lights, please consult your physician before playing Cyberpunk 2077. If you or someone you know experiences any of the above symptoms while playing, stop and seek professional medical help. Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Cyberpunk 2077. Alrighty. When we left off, we were in the middle of trying to get this uh, Sandra, Sandra Dorset. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it. Uh, that is useful in a different way, but not... Oh... Jackie's over there. All right. Dull scalpel. On your All right. More bodies ain't coming. They're almost. They're almost on you. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. So, what do you mean by they're coming? Oh, I see. All right. Um, I have no idea what to do here. Hide from the scavengers, which is optional. Okay. Wait while staying unnoticed. Oh, I see. That's what I'm doing. I killed this guy. Uh, I'm gonna take stuff. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna pick up the body here and drop this off over here. <laughs> Did you just explode into bits? No, no, it just fell over. It just flopped over really loudly. Okay. All right, that's fair. My guy is just... My guy is so dead. Okay. All right. That's how I change weapons in the uh, in the moment. Okay, that's fair. And I'm going to move this guy here. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going to move to fists again. Okay, fair enough. Just because I don't need the guns yet. To use okay, alright. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take this. I have no idea what I'm picking up, but that's fine. Alright, explosives analysis. Okay. Okay, use the path marked by T-Bug. Alright. I could, yeah. I'll try it. So far, so good. It's working out. Alright. Ooh. It's got a nice little, uh, path out of here. There we go. Defeat the scavenger leader. Huh? What the? <laughs> Why did you just come that way? Why did you just take the way I 
just used? Bruh! <laughs> yeah, I should have saw his ass. Yeah, I should have seen his ass just straight up. All right. All right, defeat the scavenger leader. Okay. I know. Okay, and don't see any movement on the sensor. Shit, where the hell's like our you target? Him. You're clear to go. Look around. Gotta be there somewhere. The, <laughs> the what? Alright. Pain editors and mortality rates. Okay. Introduction. The implant known widely as the pain editor is cyberware that reduces or even entirely eliminates pain. Hmm. It has enjoyed unwavering popularity for years among certain circles in Night City, the most devoted and arguably most valuable of which is mercenaries. It is using this test group that Zeta Tech conducted the following research. The pain at whoop, that was too fast. The pain editor is a neural coprocessor that inhibits the signals sent from nociceptors. I don't know if that's a word, but okay. To the parietal lobe of the brain, that one I know is a word, thus preventing feelings of pain in the user. Note, some models also reduce symptoms of fatigue. The beneficial effects caused by the pain editor are in some ways similar to the symptoms of hypoesthesia. I think I pronounced that right. Including greater resistance to physical forms of torture and the ability to ignore pain from severe wounds, which can allow the user to continue perform... I'm assuming continue performing beyond normal human limitations for a brief period. However, some studies have reported that the pain editor can yield a range of undesirable side effects. For example, in the heat of battle, some users are unaware of the severity of their wounds, which causes them to continue fighting without realizing they are dying ugh, and require immediate medical attention. The statistics support the theory that a lack of negative reinforcement may cause users to continue fighting when the rational strategy would be to retreat, 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 <laughs> and escape death. Since 2020, the mortality rate of pain editor owners is above 60%. Where, where's it? Where's these pain editors? I kind of want those. Can I have that, please? It'd be kind of nice. That's how often I hurt myself. And I'm assuming all these motherfuckers died due to the fact I killed their buddy. They're, they're a big uh, power dude. Their uh, boss, I guess, is the word I'm trying to say. And just kind of beat around the bush a little on that. Okay, just gonna loot the fuck out of everything, because why not? Okay. New item received. Fuck yeah! Fucking rifle. Hell yeah. Alright, new item received. A new gun! Pardon? A new different kind of gun? Escoos? Ooh. Ooh, that's worse DPS though. Um, it is colorful. Um, hmm. But uh, I'm not sure if it's cool enough to swap things out with. This is also worse than my current pistol. Um, chemical damage. Hmm. My current pistol has physical damage. This one has electrical damage. Okay, fair enough. Different uses for different pistols. All right. This one is weaker than my current one. This one has thermal damage. Okay. Fair enough. This one has thermal damage. That is also an assault rifle. Fair enough. Um, hmm. Electrical damage in a shotgun. All right. Cool. Fair enough. Hat. I have a hat now. Classic hardened leather flat cap. We got... <laughs> All right, top of the morning to you, laddies. Okay. All right. I had to make the joke. 
I had to make the joke because it was sitting right there. All right. So we did the thing. And we beat the guy. And guys, uh, rather. Euro dollars. Hell yeah. Lift all the shit. Lift all of it. Well, we managed it. There we go. The day the tower fell. Don't even know what the tower is. In early August 2023, a single event would change the course of history. Although it fell against the bloody backdrop of the Fourth Corporate War. At that point, they've already had four? The global media still fed on the story for weeks, and could you blame them? A group of terrorists detonated a nuclear bomb, blowing Arasaka Tower to pieces. Terrorists' warning came too late. Not all of the tower's employees could be evacuated. Jesus. The blast itself killed and wounded thousands, while countless others died from radiation sickness. How did the biggest terrorist attack in the 21st century happen? Who is behind this catastrophe? To find the answers, we'll need to first understand the context of that era. The early 2000s was a period of unrest for Night City, and anti-corporate sentiment was at an all-time high. In the epicenter of the city's lawlessness stood the Atlantis Club. It was seen as an island of resistance against the powers that be, primarily megacorporations like Militech or Biotechnica. I was trying to make sure I pronounced that right, Biotechnica. Though a special place in hell was reserved for Arasaka. The Japanese arms manufacturing Zaibatsu, hey, I know that word, uh, that held the most influence over Night City. The kinds of people who frequented the Atlantis felt that corporations had hijacked the future and turned people into consumer slaves, and ironically, deprived of the two things capitalism must, loved most, freedom and choice. Okay. Uh, these people called themselves edge runners. They positioned themselves against the corporate world order. They declared their own freedom in opposition to the status quo, but deprived of any peaceful way of to meaningfully change what they called the system, they reached for more radical methods of self-expression. And these people were no strangers to violence. A trill be <laughs> Okay, I have to see this. Alright, I have to see this. Oh, I can't wear <laughs> pair as well with sunglasses for a day out at the beach. Straw woven trail. <laughs> oh, I need another level before I can, though. Same with the jacket here. Okay, alright. <laughs> I don't want to look like a beach bum, though. Let me look like the beach bum. Come on. Ooh, a new item received. Alright. Let me look. I've already received many items. That's not that. It is a shirt that I can't wear. But this one I can wear. Eh, soiled with paint. Anti-chem synth fabric tank top. And it is not better than my current one. So fuck it. I'm not going to wear that. But uh, this apparently is better than my current shirt. But this is a frayed scav combat shirt. Smites foes with a highly concentrated dose of kitsch. I don't, pfft, don't know what that means. Okay. Is there other things I can loot, or is that all that's available to me? Ooh, I can open to this. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh. Oh. Did I? Jesus. Think I got her. Got her target. We make it? She alive? About to find uh, out. V, jack into our biomon. Need to know what we're dealing with. Okay. This does not She's look good. She's in the good. tub of ice. Crammed in with another. Fuck. Like slabs of meat. Keep it together, V. If she survives, she won't remember a thing. Tiny scar on the subconscious, that's all. 
Okay. People who live through shit like this get panic attacks. Without ever knowing why. You'd be sipping a glass of ice cold water and suddenly your hands shaking. V, Jack into her biomod. We need to know what we're dealing with. All right. Jacking in. All right. Hopefully it's nothing too terrible. Sandra Dorset, NC five seven zero four four two, Trauma Team Platinum. Platinum. Wow. Shit. Trauma should have swooped in if she sneezed. Guessing they jammed the transmitter, Sig. Looking at a hacked biomon, firmware reconfig, or a neurovirus. Rajo T bug. You ain't seeing this place. This is tubs, ice, hooks. Cleavers. Hmm. Scott Muncher's hack, huh? Got an idea. Check her neural cord. Find a shard. Yeah, pull it. That'll be what's muting the biomob. Is that even safe? Can't we just get her out of here? We found her still breathing. Can't lose her. We need that biomob working. Checking for hemorrhages, whatever. Find that shard and yank it. Found the shard. Removing now. Check the biomob. Anything changed? Greetings, Sandra. If you are conscious, assume recovery position now. An emergency evacuation unit has been dispatched and is due to arrive at your location in 180 seconds. Biomon claims trauma will be here in three minutes. Your premium plan will cover 90% of the projected costs of your rescue and treatment. Ay, pobrecita. Let's get her off that ice. Jack, look sharp. Not done yet. Don't know who's out there. Locked and ready, hermano. You you are not because you are not holding guns in your hand, but all right. <laughs> oh fuck. She's flatlining. V, need to know what's going Jackie, on. Jackie, air hypo. Fuck, this is bad. He gets what all. All right. Holy shit, it worked. Where I got Get her outside. Okay, we got her. We got her going. Got her alive. Scav rats abandoning ship. Must have seen trauma. Decided to cut their losses. Probably. All right. Whoa. Okay. Hey, hey, here. Oh, I can't go there. Alright. Alright. Set her down. Okay! Alright! Alright! TT-133 to control. Secure. You don't need to point a gun at us. Well, that sounds like a cocktail that'd keep her going. Alright, well. What the fuck was that? Okay, that was funny. It's a little weird. <laughs> Alright, um. Let's talk to Jackie. But first things first, I want to see if I get everything off this roof. There we go. There we go. And that's it. Okay. Let's get out of here. Elevator gets us to the garage direct. Good work. Yep. Shit show's over. True. My wires now. See you in the near future. All right. Sounds good to me. I got this thing. Mind if I borrow your wheels? Hmm. The I thing. I mean, yeah, don't get used to it. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Face through the fucking elevator. Beat as it is. Oh, almost forgot. Should get Wakako in the hollow. Tell her the job's done. All right. Uh, hold down. Uh, call Wakako. Relatively well. 
trauma team took her off our hands. She'll recover. Splendid. Your payment awaits you. Ready to come and grab whenever you like, even right away. But I guess home is the only place you wish to be now. The NCPD has surrounded Watson. The district is closed. If you're to make it past the cordon, you must move fast. Thanks for the heads up. Swing by to see you later. Words out the NCPD is gonna put Watson on lockdown. If I'm gonna sleep in my own bed tonight, we better put it in fifth. Leave it to me, Mano. I'm driving. I appreciate it. That way I don't have to deal with it. Ooh. I missed this the first time around. Can I pick that up? Okay. Alright. Ride back with Jackie. All right. Oh, that is probably very much, that is probably very much copyrighted. I thought I hit that button. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to figure that out real quick. Okay. I just checked, and it looks like it is actually on to disable copyrighted music. Uh, it also said, I also remember hearing that that toggle actually wasn't entirely correct. But here's hoping it's good enough, and if it isn't, oh well, it's on YouTube anyway, so I'm going to get fucked either way. Okay. Oh, yeah? Like any other, just bigger. No, my not. Not just any other city. No, yeah. Black hand. Hank Whelan. Adam Smasher. Legends are born here. You think so? All right. Let's grab a tight bite. What do you say? Jackie, they're locking down Watson. Oh shit, right. Exactly. Wait, what? Uh-oh. Draw weapon, holster weapon, and return to seat. Double tap Y. Okay. As a passenger, drawing your weapon allows you to lean out in the window and use your entire arsenal of equipped ranged weapons. That makes sense. Okay. Okay, of course. I'm dealing with them. Just fucking shoot faster. I'd rather go faster. I'm shooting as fast as I can. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah. Oh, hey, 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 to murder, hey, 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 be healing a little bit, although slowly. Okay. That the oh, that is a mech. Fuck. Officer, ma'am. Damn, are we ever lucky? We ran into you. System Where malfunction. What's it that makes me so special? A uh, heart of gold? Because only somebody with a heart of gold can understand just how much I need to get back to my girl. Your girl? Uh huh. I'm gonna be worried sick if I don't show up. I mean, I'm trying to be a stand up guy. Keeping me a chance. Waiting. 
That's a shame. Look at him. No model citizen, maybe. But he's a good kid. Come on! Let them through. We're good. But they're the last. Okay, thank you. Okay, on your way. Thank you. Have a good evening now, officer, ma'am. Alrighty, that worked out beautifully. You took a liking, do you? The devotion I demonstrated wrapped her by the gun. Right. Stable in my affections. Stable in my affections. <laughs> You assumed, like, at least three different things in those first few sentences. <laughs> Are you sure? You can claim unassuming. What? Uh-oh. Whoa. Okay. That explains... Oh. Wow. Things fly out of hand. Dogs out there, though. Just a midday snack for them. Well, yeah, looks like it. Poor bastards. They had it coming. Yeah, but we're clearing. We're clearing. Press B to skip the ride. I don't want to skip this ride. I'm still riding around. This is fun. Likely to make it back to Haywood now. Kill me? They'll let me through. You sure about that? Oh, yeah. I'll play nice guy. Uh huh. Well, got some decent holes in the fucking windshield there, but uh, it's fine. Okay. All right. See you later. Yeah. I will. Hay luego. All righty. Got some handgun experience on that. Nice. Ooh, got to level up. Hell yeah. Open up the perks. All right. One attribute point available, one perk point available. Oh, so I can go into specifics. All right. All right, okay, cool, cool. Good to know. All right, um, blades, handguns, assault, crafting and engineering, intelligence, cool, body. Okay, so I can add one in these and then add one to the perks within, I think. That's what that means, I think. Oh, so there's a tree involved for each one. Okay. I think I see it. I think I see the whole thing. All right. Increases crit chance with pistols. Reduces reload time with pistols and revolvers by 10%. So handguns encompasses the entirety of what can be held in one hand. All right. Assault. Whoops, that was not what I meant. Assault uh, is everything with two hands, I'm assuming. Rifles and submachine guns. Yep, yep. I was right on that. More or less. Thing with shotguns here? No. Or shotguns, a uh, whole different uh, animal in and of itself. Blades. Okay. Huh. Let's see, that's crit chance, uh, reduces reload time. I would rather reduce reload time, to be honest. All right, so there's that. That, I was correct, it goes into those. All right, fair enough. Um, reflexes. Um, 
because that handles my weaponry, I kind of want to put one into that. Yeah, we'll do that. Sounds good. All right. The Merc. The first round's over, but Night City's laid. A new challenge at your feet. Do you have what it takes to come out on top? All righty. Now we go the fuck home. Okay. The Marine Sky uranium mine collapse that occurred just outside Nova Sibirsk in southern Siberia has concluded with a happy ending. Mm -hmm. As you recall, good evening, Night City. My first guest tonight is the president of Both. the Church of El Yahoo. Forgot earlier. A runner I know has something you could probably use. Zip in your deeds. There's an important step on the path to developing your net running skills. Okay. Okay. Saka speaks of preserving the soul, but they can promise nothing more than a heartless, mindless algorithm speaking with the voice of the departed. What's more, this technology is just another tool of coercion and corruption. Only the wealthy and powerful elite will have access, and they will pay any price in exchange for a chance at this so-called immortality. Well, that is true that Arasaka Corp has specifically limited access to the relic in or- Your promise is a lie. An evil lie. Motivated by greed and- <laughs> Now that is rich. Excuse me? False promises? Greed. A lust for power. Why, it sounds an awful lot like the church to- How dare you- Okay, so you the audio bug is not really fixed too much, okay. I heard about that. Maybe the Reverend is just afraid of some healthy competition, huh? Competition? You believe everything in this world can be counted, measured, rationalized. And what if we be right? We can construct artificial brains, create new consciousness. But I ask you why? What does that give us? Are we as a people on this earth any happier for it? Mm. You claim that this relic gives eternal life, but all I see is an eternity of suffering. Rather than say goodbye, we haunt ourselves with their voices, their presence. What do you folks think? Who holds the truth? Is it Ms. Lee or maybe Reverend Colbert? That is up to you. Send Colbert or Lee to 7892 to cast your vote and enter your name for a chance to win tickets to this year's playoff. Uh huh. Until next time, Night City. <laughs> it's still cutting off. Okay, fair enough. That's what I heard a little bit about, but that's fine. That's fine. All right. Get something out of there. Taste the love. Okay. Oh, I can buy stuff out of this. Alright. Fair enough. Now I know I can. Um, it's big. Fucking buy a burrito. <laughs> can I buy a burrito? Uh, that'd be five bucks. Sure, why not? I can eat that. Hey, there you go. Cool. 
And that brings my health all the way up. Nice. The hell? Basically, it's... Oh, yeah. Alright, y'all girls have fun. Trying to get that sorted out. I'm going to be going to my home. Nice. V's apartment. Oh, I could buy stuff in my own apartment, too. Fuck yeah. That's cool. That is cool. All right. Euro dollars. I got Euro dollars just sitting on my fucking... All right. I can take all the stuff out of my closet and shit. All right. Hmm. Just got Euro dollars sitting on my goddamn... Uh... Start to shower, huh? Alrighty. Yep. I just I'm just showering my clothes on. Alrighty. How weird of me. Okay. Uh there is there's that there. There's my bed to rest. Check your weapon stash. Where's my weapon stash? Ah, uh, it's in here. Okay, fair enough. Your stash is a secure system for storing equipment that can be accessed from all of your available safe houses and vehicles. For example, if you store something in your car trunk, you'll be able to access it from your apartment. Okay. Cool. Fair enough. Open stash. All right. Okay. Gotcha. All right. That's something I can do. Something I'll get to play around with. And looks like I'll get plenty of variation weapons a little bit from the look of this here. A little bit. Not a lot of it, but a little bit. Hmm. Okay. Well, guess I get to go to bed now. But that'll be for a little later. Because right now, I'm going to end the episode again. <laughs> I'm having a lot more fun with this than I expected to be able to, uh, quite frankly. Um, there are some bits of jank moments, which is, uh, unfortunate, but it's not really breaking the experience as far as I'm concerned. Um, it's kind of enhancing it with how silly and fucking weird it is, but I wouldn't say breaking it. Um, but this is again on the series X. I have to keep prefacing that because on the Xbox one version, the base PS4 version it seems to be broken. And like I said, I will be doing a video on that soon enough. It'll be its own little standalone. Uh, but for right now, uh, with the Series X, uh, I'm feeling pretty good about the game. Uh, I was a little apprehensive at first uh, when, we, when all this shit was going down, but I decided to hold back. I would wait for a few updates. There's been at least uh, six or seven by now. And uh, it's looking pretty good game's looking pretty good but uh anyway like i said i'm ending the episode i will see y'all in the next one thank you all so much for watching click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more and click the like button if you like this particular video and share and comment so we're bringing more people into this community we can bring <laughs> i tripped over my own tongue fuck Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. There we go. Uh, this has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and uh, saving a lady in distress uh, from a looks like chop shop for bodies, which is fucking disgusting and horrifying. And uh, heading back home uh, after all of that to get some well-deserved rest for my brain and my body. Uh, although the body probably needs it less than my brain. For you!